Hi there, it's me Sam again at your service. I really hope you're doing so well. It's been so long without me really coming on board here, especially for those who've been in my family for a long time now. In today's video here, I'm going to show you some of the secret keyboard mappings that keyboard users especially ignore, and yet this could really save them a lot of time while playing music to their audience. Now, I'm only going to give you one for today because I really want to keep this video short and I'm going to be giving you the rest in later videos. I had really actually promised to give you 10 new scratch DNA styles and yet I didn't really make it today because of personal reasons but anytime soon we guys should expect it and I hope it's going to work for us. If you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to be a part of our family and I want to shout out to everyone who has already subscribed. You guys are really many about 6,000 and I can't mention all of you but then let's see what we have today. Alright guys, so what I'm going to show you today is really pretty simple but very useful and it saves me a lot of time because I use it so much. I'm going to show you how to delete hot cues quickly on your keyboard without really coming here and then looking for hot cues and you only have 8 pads. Let's say you have like 30 hot cues. How do you even delete them on 8 pads? This keyboard mapping right here is going to show you how to do that right away. Now I'm going to show you the mappings right away. Let me just zoom in right away. Just a little bit for you to see everything in full flavor. Alright, so now we are in the mappings area over here. I hope you guys can see it clearly. There are only two things you want to keep in mind. The first thing you want to keep in mind is you want this keyboard mapping here. I'm using the escape key as my shift key. You can actually set this to shift also, but it might not work so much with you that is according to my experience so I'm, I'm deciding to use the escape key as a shift key now what the shift key will do is that when you press on this shift key and then the other button on your, on your keyboard that you're using for a hot cue one if you press them together you're going to delete that hot cue that is set to one if you press this shift key which is escape in my case with the next letter assigned to the hot cue two you are going to delete that hot cue. If you only press that letter assigned to a hot cue, you're going to either set a hot cue if you're pressing it for the first time or go back to that cue point and then play it from there as normally, right? So when you really want to delete it, you'll just press on shift and hold, which is my escape key on this, in this case here. I'm going to press it and hold and I'll be picking all the cue points that I want to delete simply like that. So how do we set the next one for the cue point? This is the mapping that you use. You say shift, then you put a question mark, delete Q or hot Q1. This simply means if you are pressing on shift and then that letter assigned to hot Q1, you are going to delete the hot Q. If you are not holding it like that, then you are going to go to hot Q1. It is the same case for number two. If you press that shift with a hot Q2, you're going to delete that hot Q the next is the same and even hot q4 it is just like that to even hot q100 depending on whatever you already have and that is a very simple way of doing that so i'm going to go back to show you how that works just make sure you save your mappings and then you'll remove this section here i'm going to be playing this little track here and then this is a free beat by the way i really have people who are asking me to put real dope music on this channel but I really don't own any right to any music here so I don't use uh, music that is copyrighted. Guys that's a secret. I just want to uh, give you the concept and then as long as you really have the concept you can go use it on any other kind of song. I'm going to play this song and then set a hot cue. Like I want to set four hot cues and delete them rapidly. In the first place I'm going to set hot cue one at this very point where my beginning of the song is. Rather sorry for that movement. So I'm just going to press on 1 to set hot Q there, just like that. You can already see that red line there at the beginning. So when I press that hot Q is going to play, set the next one, alright so I already have my hot cues here 1, 2, 3 and 4. So when I only press 1 without a shift. Sorry, that was two. It's going to go back to that place. When I only pressed two, it went back to that place and played. But if I press shift with the two, it's going to delete Q2. 
Q1 I will delete. I will delete 3 and I will delete 4. This saves you a lot of time instead of trying to do everything manually with your mouse. I hope you really like the concept here. I don't know if I went so far, but I hope you get the concept. I hope you get the idea. And if there's anything I should know, I'm ready to answer you in the comment section down below. If you want to meet me, please open my next video and I will see you there.